Hello everybody, I have a very special video for you all today where I am going to be talking you through this drop in Bitcoin, the current position that I hold, how I am looking to trade this and also the emotions and psychology. That's the focus in this video. To get the technicals out of the way, um, I'm currently in a short position. As you can see, this is going very nice indeed. This is about uh, 12 hours. I uh, opened this position last night and it's currently sat in around... $12,200 profit. Okay, for 12 hours, that's a pretty nice trade. Okay, so why am I making this video? This video is uh, basically to aid you in wrapping your head around the psychology and the emotions in the market. And this is whether you trade $10, $100, $1,000, $100,000, or a million, 10 million, doesn't matter. This video is to encompass everybody. And you might think, Daniel, you're very calm considering there's a drop happening. And why am I so calm considering there's a drop happening? Why am I not compelled to go and trade this? My plan right now is so simple. And I can explain this plan during the remainder of this video. Okay. Um, but this is obviously nice to see. Here we are getting $15,000. <laughs> um, what I want to talk you through is this. Okay. This is a post that I made earlier today in the group. Okay. Uh, obviously this is all stemming off the back of the short position that we hit from around 11,800. Um, it's obviously been a very nice week. <laughs> um, so I want to read you through this. How do you think the majority of the market are positioned at the moment? I was writing this, by the way, I wrote it first in the Bitcoin chat and then I've posted it here. So I was writing this while we were around 10,500, uh, 10,400. So obviously a, a drop has occurred after this, which is nice. That's at my point, but nevertheless, let's, let's, not focus on that. Let's focus on this a second. How do you think the majority of the market are positioned at the moment? I would take an educated guess that the market figures are like this. 60% of the market are in underwater longs praying for a pump, 25% waiting for a gap fill, 10% looking for shorts, and 5% waiting for a better trade setup with good probabilities to present itself. What I don't need to take an educated guess at is that 95% of traders lose money. Even those that made money this week will very likely lose it all and more by the end of the week that comes. We made, referring obviously to the Champions Group, obviously most of us, I can't say 100%, but the majority, very good profits this week. So be sensible, send a percentage of your profits to the bank and come back for the next trade when there is more data. Don't join the 95% that will be extremely emotional right now and either revenge trading or thinking ahead of the market and taking poor trades, e.g. getting chopped up. My trading plan is very simple. Continue to trail stop loss on short, send the percentage of profits that I've taken to the bank, and then wait for the next swing trade to present itself. With swing trading, one trade can pay for a year's salary. But... If you take that trade and then throw away all the profits over the next 10 trades, you are back to square one. The only way not to do this is by staying level-headed and continuing with the same technical analysis and high probability trades as always. Then I've moved on to say, I would be a trillionaire if there was 100% odds in trading, but thankfully I've made enough money not to have a worry in the world. How did I do this? By taking good high probability trades keeping my losses small and letting my winners be big. As you can see from that example right now, by trading the stop loss, I'm keeping my win big. I'm going. I'm not going to lie to you and say that this is easy, but it is possible if you can start to understand how I'm not only reading the charts, but also the psychology and emotions in the market and how I can read this and then turn it into, you know, into taking a trade. Let's continue to crush the charts and be sensible as we take these trades together. So, um, this obviously all started off with the uh, head and shoulders pattern, naturally. Um, you know, predicting that pattern would arise. And then it come over to actually taking a look at the emotions and the psychology in the market. As you were breaching some of these levels, it was not only me looking at technical analysis. Obviously, I'm looking at technicals. I'm looking at the emotions. I'm looking at how the majority of other traders are positioned. I'm then also being very sensible, taking profits, not trying to overthink the market, sensibly staying in my short positions. Like like I've said here, I, I would have imagined at that moment in time, 60% are underwater long. So then what was the most probable that we got another drop? Obviously you can swing failure the current low, you can swing failure 10K again, head back up. 
at that moment in time, you've got to imagine that the majority of people, as I was writing this, were in underwater lungs. So let's go down and cause some more pain. Um, secondly, what else am I doing? I'm also looking at the fact that we are taking profits. We are not just holding on positions forever. And I guess another really good example is that of that is uh, da -da 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 -da. where is that video? Looking, 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 looking. Um, uh, trying to find it for a second. Yeah. Um, obviously, when we were taking 80% of profits up at when it was at, you know, basically $12,000. Again, we're taking profits, okay, and then sending that to the bank, just as it was down at the lows, taking profits and then sending that profits to the bank. But you are then not reversing positions until there's an actual reason to. As I was saying today, yesterday, there's just no reason to take that long at the moment. Because until you see that sign of strength, you do not want to be the hero that tries to time the low. Because you could have tried, you could have bought 11,200, 11,000, 10,700, 10,000, 10, 10, 10,005. There's so many times you could, you could have thought, this is the bottom, this is the bottom, this is the bottom, this is the bottom, this is the bottom. And each time, losing money, losing money, losing money. Like, just be sensible here. <laughs> Either just wait for me to say I'm longing, that's generally going to be a good sign that the bottom's in. Or just like try and understand how I read the market, how I am understanding that it's not time to long yet. Just as on the rise from 11,100 to 12K, I didn't take a single short. From the drop from 12K all the way to where we are now, 10,000, I didn't take a single long. And that is not just by chance. That is not just by being lucky. That is by understanding how the market's moving. Okay. Um, so I hope that with this video, it's been a little bit different. Obviously, I've not done the technicals per se. I've actually tried to explain firstly how I'm reading the market and how I'm reading this market currently. Well, it's it's taken from this. Again, I can only make educated guesses, but I I read the market pretty well. So I would say this is likely uh, going to be true. Although obviously I can go into exo charts, I can get more data, I can read that data better. Um, so it's it's an educated guess at that at that. But nevertheless. Um, you know, I'm reading what the majority of the market are positioned. Where's the max pain? Uh, obviously, I, I love to look for swing failure patterns. I love to trade for those. But again, you only get triggers after it's swing failure patterns. Um, and at the end of the day, yeah, we're waiting for these high probability trades. And as mentioned here, keeping losses small. You know, I don't have 100% win rate. I will take a loss. And when I take a loss, I will keep it as small as possible. And then when I get a winning trade... I'll keep that going for as long as possible. You know, I want to keep my winners really big. Okay. I want to keep my losses really small. And what are the way I trade, like that trade that I had that I showed you earlier, this is like where I'll be, you know, this is a scalp trading account. So I will be shorting and then closing and then looking for a short higher, closing when it goes back down, shorting when it goes higher, closing when it goes back down, shorting when it goes back higher, because this is the way that I like to scalp trade, especially when we're in a trend, which we're in now. Obviously, if we're in a range, I got a different strategy for range bound trading than I do, you know, swing trading uh, or trend trading. Sorry. But, um, you know, this is all theory that I teach. And this is the thing that, you know, some people say, um, you know, for instance, this week I made $100,000 um, and that is pure. That's pure profit. That's not taken into account unrealized. That's from that rise. And then the drop of the head and shoulders, $100,000 $100, like and that, that's really for myself anyway. That's really good. Uh, for for a week of trading, and then it's what I'm trying to get across with this point is, you know, that's that, that's let's say that's that's a really nice salary. If I was then really silly and I just was taking really substandard trades, I'm literally throwing away the money. And then yeah, you had nice profits, but the amount of times people have come to me saying that they had really nice profits and then they've thrown it all away by not following their risk management by getting greedy by getting emotional it, it's the same story time and time again and what i want to do is try and promote that's not the way to trade there is a set of rules that you should be following there are a set of guidelines that you should be following there is a checklist that you should be following and we're trying to make this not emotional we're just trying to um you know trade the charts <laughs> um so yeah that was my video update for today a little bit different i acknowledge than normal but nevertheless i hope it was helpful um yeah 
it was yeah yeah sharing a different bit of knowledge not so much the technicals but more the emotional how we're dealing with taking profits actually realizing profit and sending it to the bank and then waiting for the next high probability trades okay bill i've traded this extremely well <laughs> um but yeah there you go um so final words to wrap this video up will be i suppose if you would like my insights such as this uh, on a daily basis obviously i'm around every single day and if you want the updates of how i'm trading then you know naturally this is a service that we offer so if you would like that service of knowing how i'm trading my insights into the market then obviously chartchampions.com uh where you got me you've got uh, some coaches mike and victor you got assistants to help the, the very very beginners if you have no idea what you're doing trading assistant customer service you know we've got a team here mike by the way was last night making a live stream at 2 a.m 2 a.m mike got up as the drop was happening to make a live stream that's dedication you want that type of dedication to see succeed and then we obviously that's a service we offer not you're not required to join the service and if that is the case then you know i've got so many videos here on youtube that you can plow through as well so um yeah i hope that i have been able to assist you in this video with um you know getting through my thought process of how i'm reading the market and how I'm viewing the technicals, how I'm not getting greedy, how I'm paying myself, how I'm realizing profits, and at the end of the day, how I am managing my trades. Okay, keeping our losses small, winners big, trading stop losses, good tactic. And um, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk you through here. So I hope that you've enjoyed. If you have, as always, appreciate a thumbs up on this video. And uh, if you haven't enjoyed it, give it a dislike. Uh, cheers, everybody. Thank you. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.